Let's see one more problem from linear differential equation with constant coefficient. LHS is fine, which will be used to find the complementary function. Look at the RHS. So, do you remember that rule which we discussed uh, in our lectures? Uh, that uh, x into v, if something is of the form x into v, let's recall that if the RHS is of this form, then particular integral is 1 upon f of d operating on RHS. So, we used to write like this x minus derivative of this divided by f of d 1 upon f of d operating on this v. So, first of all, complementary function, we will use this rule. So, convert from d to m form. So, m square plus 4 equals to 0. m square equals to minus 4. m equals to plus minus 2 iota. So, for your understanding, I can write this as 0 plus 2 iota and m2 as 0 minus 2 iota. So, a is 0, b is 2. I can write my complementary function as e power ax c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx because e power 0 x is 1 so I can finally write my complementary function as c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x ok fine complementary function coming to the particular integral which will be 1 upon f of d which is d square plus 4 operating on the RHS which is 3x sin x so I can take 3 out and x sin x remains inside. Now I will apply this rule. So 3 uh, x minus derivative of this which is 2d divided by this thing d square plus 4 1 upon d square plus 4 and this will be operating on sin x. So 3 x minus 2d divided by d square plus 4. Now first you will solve this. So sin ax. So a square is 1 minus of a square is minus 1. So minus 1 plus 4 that will give you 3. So 1 upon 3 instead of writing here I am taking that out and sin x remains here. So 3 by 3 is 1. x minus 2d divided by d square plus 4 operating on sin x I can take uh, multiply sin x inside so x sin x minus 2d divided by d square plus 4 operating on sin x again a square is 1 minus of a square is minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 x sin x minus 2 by 3 and you are left with d of sin x which is cos x so x sin x minus 2 by 3 cos x this is your particular integral final solution is cf plus pi your cf was c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus your PY, PI which is x sin x minus 2 by 3 cos x. Okay. So again easy one if you can remember this rule and the basic rules which we discussed in the lecture.